Hi, I'm Mr. Sonic Nemitz, and this is an unboxing and overview of the X-Men by Claremont and Lee Omnibus, Volume 2. Here we go. So, this was another one that took a little bit to get here, but I'm glad I was actually able to get a copy from where I normally order from. Come on now. So, I haven't watched any other overviews or anything of this. So here's hoping it's decent like volume one was. Oh frick. This one was not packed super well. Like it has the foam, but it's a uh, I can show you. It's like just that. So look like it doesn't seem very secure in there. Like from the corners. But the corners look okay, so. We'll see. There we go. Wow, a lot of tape on this one. Jeez. So much tape. Come on. Oh, jeez. And this tape does not want to come off. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is some uh, grizzly tape here. Just... Wow, it's it's stuck on there. Jeez. Come on now. Okay, here we go. Come on. <laughs> There we go, it's slowly coming out. Slowly. There we go. This bag is wrecked. Alright. So yep, there's the volume two. My got the DM cover. Uh, I mean I, I try to go for DMs a lot of the stuff I get. Um looks good. I don't see anything super obvious, so here we go. Uh, and it is kind of funny how, at least to my knowledge, uh, this omnibus and the previous one, because this is volume two, even though they're called Claremont and Lee, they're written by Claremont, like a lot of the stuff in it, but um, not drawn by Jim Lee, not all of it. <laughs> in fact, not a lot of it is, but it's still, I mean, it's the selling point, it's funny, you know, but uh, it is pretty funny name-wise. I mean, I don't really care what omnibuses are named and stuff. You know, I don't even really care what they look like. Truth be told, if I can get the content and the binding's good. All right. So let's get this dust jacket off. Yeah, the corners on the, the, the side that wasn't super protected have been blunted a little bit but not like hit or nothing it's been little tiny blunts nothing too bad so watch a saw there it is looks all good I don't see nothing on there which is always a nice sign yeah the corners up here are fine so it's just those bottom ones and then up here is good too nothing there too looks good here we go are you as good this is volume one. Volume one was just okay. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Dang, this not much glue going on here. Or glue breaking, I should say. Come on. Break, break. Yep, this is not looking good. Oh, no. Frick, man. Oh, so disappointing. Uh, why? Like, again, the binding to this point doesn't really matter because not super a lot of double page spreads, but there you go. Yeah, this is par for the course. For their omnibus. I mean, it is kind of coming up on this side, not super well on this side, 
Um, I've seen people like stretch these, you know, like, you know, they stretch it out so the eye gets bigger. Um, I don't know if I'll do that to these because it's kind of risky to do. And uh, I'm not a super big fan of trying that because, you know, I'm just putting my finger in it there. But yeah, this is, uh, and you want to know why? It's because it's too much glue. There's so much glue. It's amazing. Like, good night, man. Like, it comes up a little bit, but, you know, not what ideally what you'd want. Uh, that's just... not as It's not as good as the first volume. It's funny, because they just announced uh, Excalibur Volume 2, and I doubt that one's going to be as good as the first one. That Excalibur Volume 1 is still awesome. From a build standpoint. Oh man. But yeah, again, all these there's white borders over all the art, you know? So the 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 gutter roll doesn't affect it that much, really. You know. Which is just like oh come on. I can just feel it too when I'm pushing here, how much it doesn't want to give. Come on. Like, yeah, it really does not want to, to do this. <sighs> what the? It does not want to give. Oh, here we go. Yep, see? There you go. There's that nice gutter roll taking out part of the image. Oh, man. That's just the most annoying thing. <sighs> Anyways, this has been an unboxing and overview of Uncanny X-Men, or not Uncanny, X-Men by Claremont and Lee, Volume 2. <sighs> Marvel, please, get it together.